welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you are all well. So today's video, you can tell the title, is going to be a DLP, or Disneyland Paris, Q&A. And I just thought this video would fit perfectly with today because today's date is Wednesday the 15th of July and Disneyland Paris is finally back open after being closed for however long this is finally back open and i'm so happy that my home park and people are finally getting some disney magic in their life so fingers crossed i will be able to do a few trips this half of the year so yes let's do this q a so first question is what's the best season in your opinion okay so i have a top three number one is definitely the Lion King and Jungle Book Festival just because it is visually beautiful and so 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 good let me tell you the Jungle Book Jive whoa the day fireworks the music fantastic and I find that season it makes you feel really immersed into being on an adventure and because it's during the summer and it's so warm in France during the summer, you do actually feel like you are in a completely different country and no longer in France. And then you've got on an adventure with Minnie and Mickey. Really, really good. Number two, Halloween. I love Disney Halloween. It's spooktacular. I went to the Halloween party last year and it was amazing. Number three is Christmas. Christmas in Disney is just so beautiful and magical. So yeah, those are my top three best seasons in my opinion. Next question, what is your favourite ride? Okie dokie. So my favourite ride is definitely Big Thunder Mountain. I absolutely love Big Thunder. And I've only ever been on a different Big Thunder, which is the one in Disneyland California, which I love that one too. But Disneyland Paris' Big Thunder is fantastic. And loads of other people say that it's the best Big Thunder. So that is definitely my favourite ride. But I'm going to treat you a little bit and tell you what my other favourite rides are. I absolutely love Hyperspace Mountain. Um, I love Tower of Terror. So they're my top three. I would have included... I would have included Rock and Roller Coaster. But Rock and Roller Coaster is no longer with us. Rest in peace. But, <laughs> so yeah, definitely Big Thunder Mountain, Hyperspace and Tower of Terror. They are my favourite three rides. Next up, what's your go-to merchandise to buy at Disneyland Paris? So every time I go on a trip to Disney, whether it's Disneyland Paris or anywhere else, I will always buy a brand new plush. Don't know why, but I just kind of do. And it's not always your mini Mickey Donald. It's always a kind of different character so i've got sully i've got raja who else have i brought home nana elliot so that is definitely one of my go-to merchandises but i've started to get some pins so this is my next thing now that will be a go-to for me is to buy a pin or pins plural <laughs> to commemorate my Disney trips. Next up, favourite food at Disneyland Paris. Well, those that know Disneyland Paris, um, Disneyland Paris isn't the best for food. You don't go to Disneyland Paris for Disney food, let's say. Um, but, hmm, I love, it's weird. I love the star-shaped pizzas and also the Mickey-shaped pizzas, if you get the children's version. Um, what else? I love the Mickey shaped cookies. They're really cute. So yeah, just those types of things are my favourite Disneyland Paris. First memory of DLP. Okay, so first just generic memory is when I was younger, I used to go to a childminder after school and during some holidays and their family would go to Disneyland Paris every year and would stay in the Disneyland hotel. So I used to sit and watch the um advertisement videos they've got and also their holiday home videos and i'll just be like i really want to go so that's my first like memory but my first physical visual memory is when i went for the first time in october 2004 went for halloween and it was awesome there were pumpkin people walking about i got my face painted i went on my first upside down ride it was 
crazy and I love it. Okay, next tips about studios. Okie pokey. So, studios. Walt Disney Studios. There's a lot of refurbishment going on at the moment and I think that puts a lot of people off. The studios are definitely kind of like a half day thing. Um, the only way you'd be able to spend all day there is if you just kept on looping around um, the, the rides. Um, one big tip for the studio. So they've got the Ride Crushes coaster but you do not get to do a fast pass on that um so my big tip would be if you are able to do extra magic hours which is something you get if you stop in a disney hotel you get to go in early so my advice would be for the studios and to do crushes coaster and not have to do like the 75 minute wait would be use extra magic hours go straight to the studio straight to crushes coaster and do it that way but soon the studios is gonna look fantastic like i said they're doing a lot of like refurbishment and they're building new things they're gonna build a, like kind of like a frozen land so arendale's coming to the studios and um, the marvel avenger campus is coming so a lot of things are happening so yeah that is my one tip would be extra magic hours for crushes coaster next one would be what would be your number one recommendation for a first timer definitely use fast passes so uh for disneyland paris the fast pass you get um with your ticket outside of a ride would be like a little fast pass kind of like booth thing where you scan your ticket and it gives you a time to come back so i would definitely recommend that that is one thing i'd recommend i'd recommend illuminations i recommend the parade 100 percent and just kind of going with the flow go with wherever your heart takes you i definitely recommend is going into disney hotel because you are able to go into the different disney hotels um obviously the disneyland hotel itself is the entrance and you can definitely go in there i'd go into cafe fantasia and sit and chill and you can watch the characters going into inventions i definitely would recommend a character meal so whether that's um plaza gardens for the breakfast or um inventions which is in the disneyland hotel definitely but yeah maybe going around all the different hotels as well and, and seeing that so there's obviously hotel cheyenne which is like a cowboy toy story theme the santa fe which is cars sequoia lodge which is kind of like a bambi i'm in the forest kind of lodge place newport bay is much of like a nautical theme it's kind of like the cruise ship but not the cruise ship if that makes sense um obviously hotel new york marvel is going to be opening so i would definitely be having a look in there and obviously the disneyland hotel so you can actually go around all these hotels and you know go into the shops go into the bars and the restaurants you can you can do that but i just recommend not piling too much onto yourself and just going with the flow and taking it all in and definitely record your reaction because i want to see your reaction to um you, you going to the park for the first time because it's just so magical next one is your favorite place to chill including all the resorts okay like i said you can go around the hotels and i've really really enjoyed that um if it's like a cold wet day i definitely recommend sequoia lodge they've got open fires you know it kind of gives you like a, a hideaway in in the forest that kind of log cabiny feel um also the, like i said the disneyland hotel just going and sitting chilling there or it's just getting some ice cream and going to sit on a bench listening to some music listening to the disney music around you and just watching the world go by people watching that's what i really really enjoy sometimes favorite place to eat okie pokey i love colonel hathies because it has the star pizza love the star pizza um bella notte have the amazing meatballs like the tub is like this big and like this wide and it's like mm, meatballs plaza garden breakfast i love that it's a buffet um october i recently did the halloween um brunch at inventions that was fantastic inventions is a bit pricey but we did meet 10 characters and we had a buffet so 
but they are I think some of my favorite places to eat also I enjoyed Casey's Corner definitely and like the bakery and the sweet shop that's a place to eat isn't it you get food from there definitely there as well then so the last one is do i know any secret tips right one i can think of is a great way to see some characters when they might be doing the starlight waltz or any show that is on the side stage would be go through the castle and as you come out of the castle immediately turn right and kind of follow under the passageway and then you'll get to this bit that it is like roped off and if you stand there the princesses and princesses and the villains will come out that way and you can be like oh hello because i remember standing there waiting to see the characters but maleficent came past and i was like damn and she was like yes damn and i was like oh that is definitely a secret tip, but I probably reckon one most people know that. A good place for photos is, say if you are looking at the castle straight on, if you kind of go a little bit towards the left, there is like a little kind of circle bit just below the castle that you can stand there and it's a really beautiful photo and you'll have the castle behind you. Also, going down by the wishing well, you can get some really beautiful angles of the castle from there another tip is if you don't mind sitting down and waiting um, for the parade and you want to get some good shots of the parade coming down main street towards the like railway so i would so you've got like where the vip um family of honor their little box if you sit next to that box uh, you get a really really good angles and view of the parade coming down towards you but because you were sat next to the vip family all the characters will wave at them and they might wave at you so that is another tip definitely i would say but i think most of the people know tips oh, i'm trying to think but my mind has gone blank hmm. so i just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that did questions for me i really enjoyed answering them i can't believe disneyland paris is finally reopened i'm so excited to be getting back um later this year um, i'm just happy it's really really nice and the precautions that they have done wearing masks you know i'm gonna get some disney masks make it um fashionable that kind of thing and if that's how i can enjoy the magic then we will see how it goes but yeah Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do have any more questions, comment down below and I will answer them. If not, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.